Hello everyone and welcome to Studio 90 Extra Time here in Vancouver where our first guest is Abby Wambach. Yes. Woo! Abby, 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 Abby. Abby, Abby. Abby uh, thanks for uh, being on Studio 90 Extra Time here. First night in Vancouver. Yeah, there's nothing like getting off the plane and coming right into the studio. Oh, <laughs> indeed. You guys just came from Los Angeles, like you said. You had a training camp there. Uh, the group went from 29 to 20 players. How was that training camp, and how did it prepare you guys for this uh, Olympic qualifying tournament here in Vancouver? You know, anytime that you're in a training camp right before a qualification event or a world championship, you know, tension gets a little high because that, that final cut is uh, obviously on the horizon for a lot of us. And, you know, I think that this team uh, trained hard. It wasn't easy. A lot of double days, a lot of meetings. Um, you know, and the, I guess the fittest were left standing at the end, and it's going to be exciting. This this tournament uh, gives us a little bit of an opportunity to redeem ourselves from from the 2010 qualification tournament for the World Cup, and that's kind of what what's on our mind. You guys open against the Dominican Republic uh, <clears throat> on Friday in this tournament. What are the challenges of a, of a tournament that has a structure like this? There are three group games, which is standard, but they're so short and so quick one after another, and then there's that all important semifinal. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's important that you have a fit team to be able to, to come back after a day's rest. Um, being it that we're playing on field turf it also changes the dynamic a little bit, uh, trying to keep people fresh. Um, you know, pounding on that field turf is hard on, on the body. Uh, so we want to make sure that everybody's getting the treatment that they need to get so that they can be playing at their 100% uh, for all three of our group stage matches. The third group match is uh, against Mexico. That's a team that you guys have built up a nice rivalry with in the past few years. Are you looking forward to facing them here in Vancouver? Yeah, I mean, they made our road to the World Cup way difficult. So very, we're very excited. I know that's definitely been marked on my calendar for, for a while now. And, you know, we're not lo overlooking any of these other teams. Um, Mexico beat us, or, uh, beat us at our own game when we were down there trying to qualify last uh, in 2010 for the World Cup. So we won't take anything for granted this, turn, this time around. Uh, it's the best part about falling flat on your face. Uh, you'll do everything to prevent that from happening again. You mentioned the team's preparation. Uh, one thing we know about head coach Pia Sundhag is with her it's always about the next game, the next practice, you know, the next opponent, whatever it is. How did that outlook help you guys you know, get over the World Cup, look forward to 2012, and you know, look forward to this qualifying tournament? Well, I think that at some point the you know the, that chapter has to be turned, and you have to look at the the things that those experiences give you. You know, obviously, that kind of experience, whether it be heartbreaking or exhilarating for the Japanese team, uh, they teach you things, and and those things uh, allow you to perform hopefully better in the future. Now, that being said, I guarantee you. Um, Probably none of us will fully get over what happened in the World Cup this last summer because we were so close and it was so dramatic and it was so heartbreaking. Um, but nothing better than to get right back on the horse the following summer uh, to defend, you know, we're defending two gold medal uh, championships. You mentioned defending two gold medal championships. Uh, you were there for the first one in 04, but weren't there for the second one 08, in 08. Does that <clears throat> have an added element for you, you know, going back to a tournament where you haven't been maybe in eight years since that first part of your career? Yeah, you know, of course. Obviously, 08 was, was tough and heartbreaking for me on a personal note. And then the bittersweetness of my team going on to winning, I was so proud of them. Um, but that still takes an emotional toll and a mental toll on any player. Uh, so going into this year, the preparation will be the same for every world championship. Uh, my focus will be narrow. Um, my mind will be set on one thing and you know sometimes things don't go in the way that you expect them to go or the way that you plan them to go and that's okay you know adaptation is important especially as a professional athlete you know it's not easy and if it were easy everybody would be able to do it accidents are bound to happen and that's kind of in my opinion what what that all was one thing that you talked about uh, all throughout last year was the experience of playing with young players and how them playing in a big tournament you know, would help their careers and would, getting that experience would move them forward. What have you seen since then that you know, with these young players taking that experience in 2011 and transitioning now into the next phase with this team? Uh, you know, obviously nobody wants to lose, but sometimes losing is the best thing, especially for a younger player, because it keeps that hunger and that fire kind of lit in their belly. 
And I think that we were all so close and we all kind of went through that experience together. So it doesn't matter if you're young or old. We all learned a lot from, from the World Cup this last summer in Germany. You and your teammates must be itching to get this qualifying tournament underway. Now that you're finally in Vancouver, I know you've been only been here a few hours, but you know, you're just sort of looking at the clock and ready to play on Friday night. Yeah, you know, we love to be in tournaments. That's what, that's, what, that's what the business we're in, and that's what we love to do. We want to show the world what we are, and it's going to be on uh, live television. People can watch from home. It should be a really exciting tournament, and um, you know, I can guarantee that the dramatics of this last summer we hope to not replicate <laughs> Because as much people like to see the dramatics, uh, we want to win games a little bit more handedly than we did this last summer uh, so that we give ourselves even more of a chance and even more confidence moving throughout this, this next year leading up into the Olympics. Abby, good luck to you and the team in Olympic qualifying. And uh, thanks for watching Studio 90 Extra Time. Woohoo! Woo